Now, the raising of the cruise liner, the Costa Concordia, has been an unprecedented success. The remarkable engineering feat saw the huge 114,000-ton ship lifted and rolled into an upright position. It is 20 months since it ran aground off the coast of the island of Giglio, close to the Italian mainland, and was left partly submerged. Fatima Manji has this report. It had never been done before, lifting a ship that's twice the size of the Titanic. Slowly and painstakingly, throughout the night, they continued trying to move 114,000 tons of metal. A storm caused further delay, but they persevered. 19 hours later, at four in the morning, a sound usually used to warn bled out to shout success. The crippled Costa Concordia is upright. And with it, an island community wounded by the tragedy, displaying its relief and gratitude to the man who led this mission. This announcement is great. We are survivors. Of course, we will remember, but it doesn't matter. Now it's over. And a moment of pride, too, for the technical team who described it as a job of a lifetime. It was a, a perfect operation, I would say. And from the environmental point of view, I have to say that there are no evidence uh, so far of uh, any uh, impact uh, to the environment. But even as they celebrated, the team here are all too aware of the months of work that lie ahead. The wreck will remain here until it's stabilized. It needs to be repaired before it can be moved and robotic cameras will roam through the ship to try and find the bodies of two victims, thought to be inside or near the wreckage. One of those victims, 33-year-old Russell Rabello, a cruise waiter, last seen helping passengers off the ship. My aim is hoping to take uh, his body, to give him a decent burial. That's what me, my family, his wife and his kids, and all of us are hoping for. For months, it's been an eyesore for many on the island and a painful reminder of 32 lives lost. And yet, through tragedy emerges a remarkable feat. The largest salvage operation in maritime history, costing at least half a billion pounds, watched with fascination, not just by those here on the island of Julio. Eventually, it'll be towed away to be turned into scrap. But now the story of the Costa Concordia is no longer just about the horror caused by human incompetence. It's also about the sheer brilliance of human ability. Fatima Manji reporting.